Now let's take a look at a couple of the automated tasks that are available in Bridge. I'm going to go ahead and select all my images in my content window. And again, we can see they're all being previewed over here in the preview window. I can go ahead and resize the keywords. Okay, we're going to click on Tools, and we're going to select Batch Rename. Now this is really neat because it'll actually come through. You'll see I have all 11 files listed at the bottom. It says they're all going to be processed. I can go through and I can rename all of my files. I can even move them to another folder or copy them to another folder and leave the originals alone in the original folder. I'm going to go ahead and rename these in the same folder. We're working out of our Chapter 8 folder. And here you have new file names. If I click on text, this first pop-up menu, you'll see these are all the different categories that you can use to name your files. So let me go ahead and change project to maybe SJ Flowers. And as I'm typing, you can see at the bottom of my screen, it shows me a sample preview of what my current file name is and what it will become. I'm going to go ahead and remove the third line of text, and I don't really think I need the date, so I'm going to remove that one too. So here I have SJ underscore flowers, and then I have a number, a sequence number. Now I can change that to one digit, I can change that to two digits, I can work, you know, obviously however I like. I want to put an underscore in front of that number, so I'm actually going to add another text item in front of sequence number, or I could type it at the end of flowers. But here if I wanted to add one back, I can hit the plus sign. I'm going to add text. All I want is an underscore, so it goes in front of my number. So now as we look at our preview at the bottom of the screen, I'm going to have SJ underscore flowers underscore and then a sequence number after it. So when I click rename, very quickly you can see each of my file names was changed and it was renumbered with that setting that I set up in my batch rename dialog box. So that's under tools. Now another thing I can do is I can select my images. Let's go ahead and get all the yellow ones in my first stack here. I'm going to go to tools. I'm going to select Photoshop and I'm going to choose image processor. Now it opens up Photoshop. I already had Photoshop open in the background otherwise it would take a little bit longer. And you'll see here it says it's going to process five images from Bridge and I'm going to save them in the same location. Now obviously I can move those. And here I can say I want to be saved as a JPEG and then I can resize all my images to fit inside a certain dimension in pixels. If I don't want to save them as a JPEG I can change them as a PSD or a TIFF file. And here I can also set the quality. You've seen quality when you're saving from Photoshop down to a JPEG and it gives you different quality numbers to do the setting at and this is probably about medium. And then you would just click run and it would apply that image processing action to every single image. I'm not going to do this at this point, but just so you realize if you have a large quantity of images, because most of the time I think we're taking pictures at really high resolutions on our cameras, basically because we can and we never know what we're going to do with our pictures, but we don't always need them that large. And if we're going to be posting them maybe on the internet, we want them to be smaller so that they become more manageable and they're more quickly loading on the internet. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. And I can go back to Bridge.